Welcome to Flash CS5 Tutorial 40, Dice Part 1. This will be two parts, and when you finish those two parts, you will have made this tutorial. Click. You roll a 4, and you can reset it. I have an FLA opened on my computer. All I have here is a cube. Uh, this is a rectangle. I used my straight line tool, my straight line tool, and just filled in the gray. So, and then I copied that, the whole thing, I selected it, got the crosshairs, right click, and copied it. I went to my library panel and I made six movie clips. Dice one underscore MC, dice two underscore MC, down to dice six underscore MC. So let's look at this one here, dice one for a minute. Remember I copied that cube and I made a layer. Let's pretend there's only one layer here and I called it cube. I inserted a keyframe here so it would have two blank keyframes and I clicked this keyframe and this is where I pasted that cube and I did that on all six of the movie clips so I have a cube layer and in the second frame I have this cube then I went and took my oval tool I made an oval with a black it doesn't matter because I'm going to go and open the color panel I highlighted it I opened the color panel right here I said radial gradient for my fill and I made it so I had the circle a little circle inside there it is I then made it a little larger so I could work with it and I took my free transform tool picked up what's called the gradient transform tool highlighted it and I moved that dot off to the side a little bit not that far and that's what I put in all my dice for example if I look at my dice and turn on I have a second layer called five and over here if I look there are five dots what I just did is I took this one picked up my selection tool copied it oops, copied it paste it in place moved it around until I had the pattern of five and then I took my free transform tool highlighted it brought it over and moved it around till I got the shape that would fit in here okay that's what I did so I'm going to just delete that for a minute I did that and made a five for this side I made a one for the top because this is dice one and I made a three for the side so all of my dice are based on that sort of thing and then what I did was is I before I deleted that that circle I copied it I went to my movie clip dice 2 MC did the same thing I had the cube here I put the cube on frame 2 of the cube layer I put 6 off to the side here I put 3 down here and because this is dice 2 2 is on the top Okay, and I did the same for dice 3 these are all done on the second frame there's dice 3 it has a 5 and a 1 there's dice 4 you know, all in the second frame, it has a one and a two. In 
and the four is on top naturally. This is dice five. It has a four, five on the top. You can't see it because the circle's there. But that's a five. If I make it larger, you can see that, probably. Yeah, that's a five with the one and the three on the side. And finally, number six. Begin second frame. There's six. As long as these two numbers or any combination of these numbers, this is the important one because that's the dice, that, that's the roll. But as long as the sum of these two or the sum of these two doesn't add up to seven, then you have a reasonable dice because the opposite sides of a dice add to seven. So this is five, over here would be, would be two, this is three, up here would be four, and the other side of this one would be the one. Okay, so now we had those six movie clips. Let's go back to scene one and call this layer dice one. And I want a dice two, a dice three, a dice four, a dice five, and a dice six. I have six layers now, dice one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to lock them. I don't need this cube anymore that I made, so I'm just going to with my selection tool, highlight it. I gotta unlock the layers because it's on one of these layers somewhere. Highlight it, delete it. And with all the layers locked, select dice one layer, dice one, select frame one, open the library, grab dice one, and bring it in. We don't see the dice because this is on frame one of that dice one, and we know there's no there's no picture there. While it's selected, let's open the properties panel and there's the name of the instance of and let's call it that. D I C E one underscore M C. Okay. Unlock the second layer, select its frame one, open the library, drag dice two, closest on top of two as you can get. Give it a instance name, D-I-C-E-2 underscore M-C. Do the next four. So I have one movie clip on each of these layers. Open the library again. Come down here, new symbol. Make sure movie clip is selected and call this dice. D-I-C-E underscore M-C movie clip. To save time I have some frames copied that I'm going to put in here and let's go through this. If you notice I have them staggered so it looks like when this movie clip is run it's going to look like the dice is rolling. So if you look here for dice, dice one is going to be seen here for a few frames and it's it's moving around. It's moving around and then there's right here, this should also be that same dice. There should be no blank spots. I'm sorry, blank spots. There should be no, no blank spots, and there shouldn't be any time there's two dice. So there I have that dice moving there. Then it flips to dice three. Just flipping around on my stage to there. Then I pick up dice six, flipping around. See that? And you can flip them around as much as you want. As long as you're not in line here, have any two selected, n and as long as you have no blank spaces. And there's, now I'm showing dice two. See that? Right to here. Now I'm showing dice four, flipping around. Some I flipped and some I turned. And dice five. Each dice is being represented, so if I tab that, it looks like the dice is rolling. We're inside this dice movie clip, and I said tab, I should have said hit the enter button. Let's go back to scene one, and let's click this last layer, insert a layer, drag it down to the bottom, call this one dice. This is like when the dice is rolling, that one we just made, D-I-C-E. I'm calling it dice, but it should be called die, but that's a horrible word, die. Open your library, 
and this dice movie clip bring it on that spot here it is there now you're seeing that because there is something on frame one of this dice movie clip make let's lock all the layers select the top layer in my case it's dice six insert a layer now we gotta get some code call this action script as select that first frame open your actions panel and type in this code type 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 getting some stuff over here that shouldn't be in here yet where you see these commented out don't worry about these these are going to help us troubleshooting if we if we should need to okay we're going to have first of all stop so it stops on this frame we're making a variable var and that variable is called dice that's just the name of the variable d i c e capital d colon number capital n u m and as soon as you start spelling it it'll turn blue then you can select it equals zero semicolon so that's the variable and there's going to be a function so when it comes into this frame it's going to do this function the function is called get random number you can make it sm smaller name than that but that's what it is it's, it's getting a random number you can just put call it Harry doesn't matter but I'm calling it get random number small g capital R capital N open and close bracket colon void void and function are the same color if they're spelled right there's your open curly bracket and as soon as you start typing you'll get this close curly bracket and inside this function we have a variable and it's called mystery number again you can call this anything you want as long as it's not one of the selected words or as long as it not it's not this word I call mine the mystery number colon number capital N U M it turns blue equals and this is the math random capital M A T H period random R A N D O M that will turn blue and this is going to generate a number for it from for us between zero and one so it's a decimal number now this dice variable I'm using right here there it is dice D I C E equals math period round this math round says whatever is inside these brackets round it up round it to a, 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 a one one digit okay round it and so it's an open bracket copy this mystery number paste it in now this mystery number is generated by this math random I, if I didn't we should have an open and closed bracket here with a semicolon and that number being between 0 and 1 we'll multiply that by 5 right we multiply that by 5 so we have a number that's going to be if it was 0.1 that would be 0.5 if it was 0.2 that would be 1.0 okay plus 1 this will restrict my number from being from a 1 all the way up to a 6 okay because if you look at this this is going to generate me numbers if I generate an, a 9 for example a point 0.9 rather if I generate point 0.9 multiply it by 5 that will give me the 4.5 if I am and round it up that'll make it 5 plus 1 is 6 so this allows me to generate numbers from 1 to 6 and naturally if it's a function the function has got to be called and this is the line that calls the function get random number open and close bracket semicolon now to see if it's working I'm putting in a trace here and the trace T-R-A-C-E, open bracket, quotation, dice, space is equal to, space, quotation, that'll be green, this is a string, that'll appear as you see it, plus string, capital S-T-R-I-N-G, that turns blue, bracket, dice, that's this dice here, close bracket, close bracket, semicolon, so when, when we generate this number, it's going to say, the dice is equal to whatever is the number that's generated and that number is going to be between again one and six 
So let's test it. So what we should see is this dice spinning. That's that movie clip. Dice is running. And we should see on our output panel what dice has been selected. Okay, there it's spinning. There it's spinning. That's right. And it's telling me at that time we would have selected dice 4. Let's test it again. It could be 4 again, but it's just random, so I don't know what it's going to be. There, this time it generated a 1. So that's how that part works. Make sure you save this FLA. There will be a part 2. And I hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I hope you use what you learned.